September 30th was going to be a big day. The passage of the 2018 Farm Bill. Only, here we are in October, and there's no new bill yet. The legislation for the Farm Bill is complex. It includes funding for things like crop insurance, school lunches, SNAP benefits, and a host of others. University of Nebraska Ag Economist Dr. Brad Lubin joined me to talk about what's taking so long and where we go from here. We were watching, waiting for a compromise that could be reached in September, right, to put a bill together and, and put it through Congress before the Farm Bill expired at the end of the month. It didn't happen. Not only did we not pass a new Farm Bill, we didn't even extend current policy. So we really live in limbo at the moment, waiting on new action. Uh, it's still going to be a difficult road ahead to try and get to a compromise bill. The same hurdles that held up the process ever since July, uh, the same hurdles that couldn't get jumped over, couldn't get uh, uh, moved through in September are still there. Now the negotiating team, the, the big four, uh, the chairman and the ranking members of both the House and Senate Ag Committees talk about moving a compromise through uh, by mid-November uh, with the goal of reaching a, a final bill that could still be passed in a lame duck session of Congress, but that's, that's still some big hurdles ahead. And of course not, not every program associated with the Farm Bill is, uh, is going to suffer. Some are going to suffer more than others. Mm -hmm. Talk about some mm -hmm. that may be in trouble because of the delay. Yeah. Because of the delay and the fact that not only was a new farm bill not passed, but an extension of the current bill was not passed, we technically have sort of a mix of uh, um, uh, extension, or I should say a mix of continuing authority along with some programs that, are, that effectively have been killed. We have some programs that run for the program year, the commodity year, the crop programs, the dairy support programs those technically don't revert to what we call permanent legislation uh, until 2019. Dairy is that first commodity that uh, would get hit on January 1st, mm -hmm. thus we often call December 31st the dairy cliff or the milk cliff. If we really don't get something done before the end of the year, we talk about permanent legislation, which is enough of a hammer to remember that we've got to get something done. Mm -hmm. But until we get something done, there are some programs that continue on because they have permanent authority. That's crop insurance and disaster assistance, but it's also SNAP, one of the biggest hurdles yeah. here yet to be negotiated. And then there are a mix of programs where authority technically expired at the end of September, and you might be able to service existing contracts but not write new ones, or you might literally have to close down programs in the interim here until we get new, uh, new authority. So uh, we have a mix of, of hurt across the board right now in terms of farm programs and farm bill legislation waiting on that, that final compromise to come. What's it going to take to make uh, a deal, you think? If we really can't get a new farm bill put together in uh, November to be voted through in December, then you back up and you pass an extension of current policy for a year or more and effectively punt the new farm bill to the new Congress. So why do people bring up the 1949 thing if it's, if it's not even a threat that is, is yeah. feasible in the first yeah. place? Well, it's a, it's a threat in the sense of it's always this harbinger out there that says this is the permanent authority mm -hmm. last amended in 1949. If you don't write new legislation, that's what we revert to. We don't just shut down USDA and in farm programs and walk away if we can't do something new. We revert to that permanent legislation uh, that effectively ensures that we will get the job done. Maybe late, but we will get the job done. Uh, we can't afford to not get it done. Uh, one could eliminate someday, talk about eliminating the permanent authority uh, and effectively kill that as well. But then when a farm bill expires, it expires. And there's nothing until you find the, the political uh, coalition and support to do something new. Okay. The permanent legislation sits there yet today as a way to ensure that something new happens on a regular basis. Mm -hmm.